third court struggle was dismissed by a crooked Megan judge, but her appeal was rejected. According to documents obtained by RadarOnline.com, Meghan Markle has asked a judge to throw out Samantha Markle's revised defamation lawsuit because she believes it is being driven by a family member's animosity toward her. Samantha Markle is the half-sister of the Duchess of Sussex. Just a few weeks prior, a federal court judge rejected Samantha's initial case. Samantha alleged in her second complaint that Meghan made up details of her background to advertise her status as royalty, despite the fact that Meghan had attended elite private schools. Samantha also challenged Meghan's assertion that she is an only child, which she claimed in the highly watched interview she had with Oprah Winfrey. Thomas Markle is the father of both of the half-sisters. Samantha claims that Meghan lied about how infrequently they met and defamed her by claiming that Samantha only changed her last name to Markle after Meghan and Prince Harry were engaged. Meghan has vehemently denied any wrongdoing and demanded that the case be dropped. As Samantha had not properly demonstrated that Meghan had made a significantly and materially false statement to need to support a defamation claim the judge first agreed with Meghan. Meghan has clearly denied any wrongdoing, while Samantha swiftly responded by filing a Meghan has demanded that the case be dismissed. As Samantha had not properly demonstrated that Meghan had made a significantly and materially false statement to need to support a defamation claim the judge first agreed with Meghan. According to a lawsuit revealing new charges, Meghan tried to vilify her and portray her as a liar and fame seeker out of fear. Samantha has gathered sufficient proof. In response to these fresh allegations, Meghan has once more asked for the case to be dismissed and criticized the modified complaint for being nothing more than a repetition of the earlier charges. According to a source, Meghan attempted to bribe a judge in the case with money, but was unsuccessful. Meghan's situation is only deteriorating. Samantha has responded to Meghan's move to dismiss and submitted her rebuttal. Samantha's argument has only gotten stronger in light of this week's massive PR stump failure. Especially when they pulled her along, Samantha might accomplish more if she revealed the truth about Doria to the public. If that is true, it is not slander, and she would not face any consequences. In response to Meghan's allegations of an alleged automobile chase, Samantha Markle said she shouldn't be playing like the victim, and criticized Meghan for doing so. Samantha believes that Meghan has made statements and remarks that have alluded to the passing of Princess Diana in an exclusive interview with Dan Wooten on GB News. Samantha then said, My goodness. I believe there is an infatuation, as evidenced by reports that she wore Diana's perfume on their first date, was photographed imitating every movement she made, and even channeled Diana in her leisure time by placing her hands on stones. Not to mention the lifelong drama of fleeing the palace, in which she is shown passing away in a manner reminiscent to Diana's. I believe that the indictor's words, remarks, and concerns have been evoking Diana's passing all along. Tragically. Sadly, this poor woman is being brought up for practical reasons. Every time Harry and Meghan don't get their way or want some publicity, it seems. The couple's representative claims that Harry and Meghan were involved in a car pursuit where a dozen automobiles with blacked-out windows were driving recklessly and endangering their lives. Samantha is nevertheless questioned as to how Meghan and Harry came up with the word near catastrophic when there was no impact. How is it almost disastrous? Only because it is in your imagination. And I suppose that some people find it disastrous to get out of bed, since you never know what may transpire throughout the course of the day. So everything just feels absurdly dramatic.